G'day, 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 g'day. My name's Bruce and I'm in charge of the Positive Theology Department and my mate Bruce here is in charge of the sheep dip. Bruce, what is rule number one? Do you not know, Bruce? Skippy, what is rule number one, Skip? Do you not know as well? Right, for all you positive English drongos out there, Rule number one, according to the Python team, is... I can't say it altogether because you don't know it. No puff does. Now listen, you whinging poms, you whiny little slices of poms from back home. I want to tell you this. I want to tell you that Tony Abbott is a great man to be trade minister. He can trade in anything, as long as it's not anything to do with gay people or women. Because like all of us ranchers out here, and like all of us ex-poms, prisoners of his majesties, we believe that women, known as Sheilas, should be seen and not heard. Personally, we like to keep ours as close to the kitchen sink as possible barefoot if we can, and if they can be chained by the ankles, they can produce more work, more washing up, move, more food for us men who know what's best and really, you know, who God made to rule over women and the children and the household. So I do not know why you British drongos are objecting to such a great man and drinking buddy of Tony Abbott Let's all crack a tube to Tony Abbott, cue sound of cans opening. Tone, God bless you, mate. And we hope that you enjoy your new job as new trade minister for the home country. Right? Well done, Tony. And no pufters. Remember, that is rule number one. No pufters. Bye. Not perhaps the best Australian or Antipodean, but clearly satire. And as anyone remembers, based on the famous Monty Python sketch. Bye. <laughs>